What is going on, everybody? Welcome for the first time or back to another DLJ Works video. And what this video is going to focus on is just kind of giving another overview of Vimeo OTT and also explaining the services that I will be offering and a product course that I am creating to help you guys out with using the platform. Now, a disclaimer, any information that I give you, this is not to guarantee your Vimeo success with your audience. And what do I mean by that? I am when, when I'm helping you basically do is to configure, to help you get your content uploaded, organized, designed correctly, those sorts of things for your Vimeo OTT platform. From there, you're going to be responsible as the Vimeo OTT platform creator to know who your audience members are, what you need to do, and etc. I, I did create a video uh, with the Gary V thumbnail on it, talking about a marketing plan I actually helped to create for my last client, but that is usually not my focus because usually with that, there's no real, no guarantee. You may be a, a fisherman content creator, and I know nothing about the audience in regards to or as it relates to fishing. So I really can't give any sort of information per se when it comes to that, but I can give very general marketing information that you can tailor and probably, you know, make it your own to best serve your audience. But this is to the content that I'm actually making is to help you easily navigate and configure and understand how Vimeo OTT works. There's been a lot of complaints in terms of people on the Vimeo OTT side not being able to get back to the customers, to their customers, the email lag times and all these other things. And I've had people for over the past two years kind of hit me up and, and asking me for help for these things. So uh, I want to just kind of go over that. Now, a, a couple of things that the general thing I actually want to talk about in this video is actually explaining how videos work. All right. You can consider videos and I have this very primitive graph here right now at this moment in time. You can kind of understand that videos are broken up into three parts, all right? You can either have a video stand alone as an individual movie, depending on what the actual goal is for that. If it's a documentary, if it's a full-length feature film, you can actually host that on Vimeo over the top, all right? The next thing that you can also consider, too, is that is this going to be under a series? So is this title a series in and of itself that's going to contain a season and a whole bunch of episodes? So that's very easy to understand. If you watch Netflix or Hulu or anything like that, you can kind of understand that that video series is going to contain seasons and then episodes. And that's just going to how that that's just how that's going to work. All right. Videos can also work as playlists. Now, this is also easy to understand, too, if you understand YouTube culture, because on YouTube, you have playlists that's being created all the time, whether you're creating a category and just adding very individual videos to be added to that, or an actual YouTube will curate a whole playlist, a whole mix as you just see it, as you just see random mixes of, you know, videos based on your watch history and, and those sorts of things on YouTube that they'll present to you. So that's also something to consider as well. This is a playlist that I'm not really sure if your audience is going to be put to, putting together or you're putting together for them at this moment in time. And I understand that Vimeo just added a live feature. I'm not really familiar with the live feature right now at this moment. My um, The one client that I've actually been helping with this hasn't had any real need to use the live feature at as of this moment. But as I continue to get more information, I'll continue to share it and make sure that I'm educating you in a proper way based on what I understand on how it works, all right? <clears throat> so what are products? The videos themselves are not products. Videos must be converted to the following, a subscription, a rental, or one-time purchase. I made a video already on subscriptions, rentals, and one-time purchases. You can watch that, and I'll make sure to link it down below. But you have to understand that your videos themselves are not necessarily a product. You have to convert them either into, you have to decide whether people are going to subscribe, rent out, or have a one-time purchase. One-time purchases, movies are great, documentaries are great for one-time purchases. If you're selling a whole season uh, or just selling a whole series, that's also good for one-time purchase as well. So it just really depends on your own goals. I will say though that subscription, you really have to map out and plan out what is your overall long-term plan with Vimeo OTT? If you plan on having somebody subscribe to your platform, how much content are you going to have 
that's going to keep your audience on retainer that's going to keep them coming back for more are you going to have a landmark series that's going to stand out what are you going to do in those terms so for example um now here i have a dummy this is a dummy vimeo ott account I just called it technology entertainment and actually there's very little platforms very little niches that just has um, a technology platform where it focuses on developer documentaries video game designers um humorous content think about silicon valley that's on hbo max right now think about a, a streaming platform that only hosts technology based content developers designers coders programmers engineers making comedy sketches um so kind of in the same vein as silicon valley and those sorts of things i actually made a little cartoon called the arrogant programmer you having more video more just content in those regards what type of niche are you going to do that's going to keep people coming back for more and what audience are you going to hit if i was to develop my own streaming platform it would be that where it would just focus on content for the industry of stem that's what i would actually go i think that would be a good idea if you decide to steal it it's fine but that's something i would desire to subscribe to myself i'm a very busy guy with the family i still have my day job with teaching and everything else but you have to map that out so before you ask people for a subscription a monthly subscription do you have enough good content that's going to keep them coming back for more all right <coughs> excuse me now for a rental um you know, if somebody wants to just rent one episode to kind of see what your content is like that you're producing or they just want to rent a movie, we, we all pretty much understand rentals right now at this moment in time. But I, I wrote this here just to kind of give you some some context to think about what type of products are you going to be making and why are you going to be making them? All right. Uh, let me go ahead and I want to go to I want to go down here and talk about my services that i'm going to be offering because I, I i still have a lot of stuff that i actually need to do and move that down just a little bit i still have a lot of things that i do throughout the day so i'm only able to take on one project at a time and i have have, have had people that have hit me up and needed help but i also need to know that you as a customer coming to me asking me for help that you're having respect of my time but as well as i'm having respect of your time now i've done free consultations before i'm not going to really do any more free consultations going forward because most people don't really know what type of direction they want to go and at this moment in time like the time that it's pulling away from my family and the things that i'm already doing and and the work that i'm going to be putting in and preparing these things for you it's, it's just time is just money right now all right so going forward zoom or google calls for one hour and let me type that in here for uh one hour one hour consultations okay and in that consultation call we could talk about what are your needs what what is your audience what do you not understand about vimeo how can i help you how can i help you not spend any money to where you don't need a course and you can maybe figure out is vimeo tt right for you do you actually need this platform uh what type of content are you going to be doing and, and uh, how big is your audience? How do you? We can figure all this out in that one-hour consultation time frame. I can ask you those questions and to help you to really think and guide you. Do you really want to commit to doing Vimeo OTT? All right, that's what that consultation call is for: is to make a decision. Yes, Deshaun, let's go for it. Let's work together to figure this out. Or no, I, I think I'm going to not use Vimeo OTT and I'm going to do something else. You know, so I want to make sure that you can maybe I could save you some money by maybe if you're just you maybe you just get your own website, a regular WordPress website and figure out if you could just put videos on private for YouTube and just actually have some sort of unlocking fee. I don't I don't know. We could figure something out. All right. So that's what the $50 Zoom or Google call is going to be for for one hour to kind of figure those things out. Now, before I even talk about this $500 price, I want to let you know that you can actually sign up and i've put out um in the last video that you can sign up to my email list for a guide i decided not to do a guide because i i may do a quick quick how should i say a quick search guide quick reference that's what i'm trying to say for you to just have something a little pocketbook to kind of easily go through it and figure out what's going to what you need to do to to upload a video or whatever in vimeo tt while i'm doing this video course but video course is going to be easier for me to talk you through and explain uh from beginning to end from the time that you sign up an account 
to the very end that you need to have to deploy your Vimeo OTT application to your audience. All right. So that's what the goal of that video course is going to be. And if there's any like questions that still need to be addressed, something that I missed in that course, then feel free to email me and we'll just go from there. I'll continue to build on that based on the feedback I get from this product course. And that will be sold through Gumroad right here. All right. That's going, I'm going to use Gumroad to sell the video course so you can have an understanding of that. So sign an email list to that because when it's ready, if you're on email list, you'll be the first to know about it. All right. So I'm going to, it's not going to be an ultimate guide anymore. It's just going to be a, a video course. I don't know if it's going to be five videos, seven videos, however many, many videos it takes to get this out there. I'm not going to have this freely on YouTube. I'll continue to make videos about Vimeo, but it's not going to be like that on YouTube right now. Now, if you don't want to go through the hassle of looking at the video course and figuring this out on your own, and you want me to work on this and do this for you, then the minimum price for me doing this is going to be $500 base. It's $250 down. Let me type this up in here. Okay, $250 deposit. And then from there, remaining $250 uh, post. How should I say? Upon completion. I should say upon completion. contract required okay so i learned from experience that you have to work with a contract so if you're not willing to work and sign a contract and, and go from there or get put the 250 dollars down my feelings are not hurt we just won't work together um that's just what it is i have videos up here on youtube that should help you get at least started and give you some understanding of how to work with some of the insides of vimeo ott but for the most part i am not offended Hopefully you won't be offended either by me requiring that price, but it is what it is. And that's what uh, that's what the service requirements are going to be. So I don't get started until the actual deposit is actually made. Now, what you're going to get if you do have me to help you work with Vimeo OTT, all right? And you see here, um, more, the price is going to be more. It's dependent on the needs and skill sets that I have and the needs that you have and to see what we can actually do. So what I'm going to require is that it's going to be an upload of two series, two seasons each, you know, if necessary, based on our, you know, because each case by case, each customer is a case by case study. So we'll work it out based on maybe a phone call or whatever the case may be. You're going to get advisory on how to use Vimeo OTT, any custom design using CSS. So you can actually, I can actually use CSS because the, oh, the theme is malleable if you're very confident in using CSS to shape your theme in a way that you actually want to from changing the colors, the widths of the screen, making sure it's going to work on different computer screens and device screens and those sorts of things. So that's what the CSS comes in at. It makes your theme more malleable and more custom what you like. Set up if any custom domains and embeds on a personal website, um, screen recording communication. So I'll constantly be doing what you see me doing right now and kind of explaining to you what's going on if there's any hiccups and any problems and what i actually may need from you to make this go round um also i also offer just host and wordpress services i've only been with one hosting company as a web designer myself and developer and that's just host so if you don't have a website or web services i cook you up with just host but if you already have somebody you're working with that's fine as well but I also offer WordPress services. Now that's going to increase your price even more because WordPress is a different animal all on its own, but it is what it is. We can go from there and kind of figure out how you're going to integrate Vimeo OTT on your own website. I can do that at a time, one project at a time. So if I already have a project I'm working on, I will let you know if you are hitting me up and then I will, I am going to not guarantee a one month turnaround i'm going to try to deliver on a one month turnaround it just depends on how big the project is so but i want to try to get it done as quickly as possible but i'm not going to make any guarantees and that's where i that's where i'm saying that this is going to be unique on a case-by-case -case customer basis right now all right uh, lastly uh-oh now, my contact information, okay? Do not message me on Facebook. <laughs> Do not message me on Facebook because I usually don't see those messages on Facebook. I had a couple of people who messaged me back in December and February of December 2020 and February of this year, and I just never seen them because I don't check my, I have a DLJ Works 
Facebook fan page, but I don't really check it. I don't really add content to that. But people are having a just trying to get in contact with me. So here it is right here. You can email me at dljworksforyou at gmail.com. So that's D-L-J-W-O-R-K-S, the number four, Y-O-U, at gmail.com. You can email me there or hit my direct line at 512-387-4792. Text messages only, please. Um, getting all these phone calls and me not knowing who you are, you know, that's going to be very difficult. I usually just ignore phone calls anyway that I don't know. So send me a text message. Let me know who you are. Um, let me know where how you found me, and we'll just go from there. So that's going to be it for this video. Um, if there's anything, any questions that you have, please hit me up directly and on information that you see. Let's talk. Let's do business. Let me see how I can I help you, and we'll go from there. All right. God bless you guys. Talk to you soon. See you in the next video.